gentlemen, presenting Kermit the Frog. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Muppet Files. Yay! Welcome back to another episode of The Muppet Files. The next Muppet I'm going to be talking about is one particular Muppet that, I guess for a lot of us Muppet fans, everybody did not see come. Like, seriously, this Muppet is unlike any Muppet that we've seen, who looks exactly like Kermit. And... You know, he had only appeared in one Muppet film, which, in fact, he was one of the main Muppet stars and the antagonist of this one Muppet film. And not to mention, coincidentally, his Muppet performer would go on to, well, be the new slash Muppet performer of Kermit. That's right, guys. I'm going to be talking about the evil frog himself with a mole, Constantine. Constantine is the world's number one criminal and doppelganger of Kermit the Frog. He is the main antagonist in the film Muppets Most Wanted, along with his sidekick, Dominic Bad Guy, aka Number Two. Constantine sets out to steal the crown jewels of England. However, mayhem ensues when he gets entangled with the Muppet troupe on their European tour. He is almost identical to Kermit aside from a few details. His pupils are shaped like Kermit's, but are slanted in toward each other at a sharper angle. Kermit's signature 11-point collar is duplicated, but Constantine's is notably shorter. The most distinguishable difference is a beauty mark on Constantine's face. In the film, Constantine, concealed in a black cloak, confronts Kermit and slaps a fake mole to his face, which gets him mistaken for the evil frog and thrown in a suburban gulag. Constantine disguises himself as Kermit by covering up his mole with green makeup, and his thick Russian accent is passed off by Dominic as Kermit having caught a cold. When asked whether he would be playing both the role of himself and Constantine, Kermit replied in the negative, although he did imply that nepotism was involved in casting. No, we talked about putting me in makeup and having me play both roles, but we decided Constantine needed to be a guy who could do a Russian accent and, you know, I'm a pretty accomplished actor and all. But besides, the Muppet Christmas Carol and Muppet Treasure Island films, I've only really ever played myself. The great thing is, I have like 3,000 relatives back in the swamp, so it was quite easy to find a frog who would play Constantine. A 2014 article in the New York Times described the creation of Constantine, speaking to Muppets Most Wanted director James Bobbin and Constantine's performer Matt Volg. Because the other Muppets often think that Constantine is Kermit, it was crucial that he strongly resemble Kermit with only small differences. Intentionally, we were going to have him be a different color green, a slightly faded out green color, but we started doing camera tests, and it became obvious that he wasn't Kermit. The filmmakers decided on the same color and same materials as Kermit, but Constantine's collar is shorter with wider spikes, and their eyes are different. Kermit's eyes are very smiley. Constantine's eyes are more flat and slightly bending in to create a sort of frown. Kermit's head, without a hand in it, has more smiley natural position. Constance's mouth falls into a natural grimace. The final difference was the mole. It's a classic movie trope. 
Two guys look exactly the same, apart from one birthmark or mole. We love working with these tropes into Muppet movies because they play so well. When Constantine switches with Kermit, he uses green makeup to hide the mole. In performing Constantine, Matt Volg got one important piece of direction from Mr. Bobbin. Watch Octopussy, that 1983 James Bond film, includes General Orlov, considered by Mr. Bobbin a quintessential Russian villain. Mr. Volg embraced that advice in creating Constantine's thick Russian accent, but sought to build other dimensions. I wanted to create a full-fledged character rather than just a goofy impersonation of Kermit, he said by phone. He worked on Constantine's accent with a dialect coach. In working the puppet, Mr. Volg avoided Kermit's light, airy moves. We found a way to make him look heavier and more deliberate. He even sits differently than Kermit, more closed off. He said in operating Constantine's hands, he would either have the fingertips steeple in an evil way or drop the arms and move the puppet from side to side as if he had shoulders. When he walked for the face, Mr. Volg noticed that if he wrinkled Constantine into more of a frown, he made him look menacing. Also, a couple of other things I'd like to mention that happened with Constantine. He did make a few appearances at the Disney parks, specifically at Disney's Hollywood Studios with Muppet Vision 3D, where he was in the pre-show interrupting the pre-show and interrupting Scooter. He also made an appearance at the Villains Unleashed party during Halloween time. Yeah, because he actually appeared, Constantine himself, and Matt Volg performing him. And a day after Constantine made an appearance and did a meet and greet, Matt Volg would do the same just as himself at an, auto at an autograph signing at the Muppet Shop. Also, there would be like this scavenger hunt that was briefly at Epcot, which, you know, had to do with, you know, advertisement and in celebration of the release of Muppets Most Wanted, if you know about that. And Constantine would make a couple of other appearances in interviews, press, and so on, tying in, of course, with, you know, Muppets Most Wanted. And one of the last few times that we've seen Constantine is him making a Christmas video in 2017. In conclusion, it's nice to see that, well, Constantine has become a pretty good Muppet villain, and probably one of those, like, few rare Muppet villains, if you get what I'm saying, because, you know, there have been a couple of Muppet villains that were humans, so. And who knows, maybe we'll get another appearance of Constantine down the road. I mean, with Matt Vogue now the new performer and voice of Kermit, it's hard to tell, but we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe Constantine will make a cameo, whether if it's a silent cameo, or if he has a brief role, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. That's all we can do. So, with that being said, us true Muppet fans should always remember the one and only Constantine. That's how it's done. Oh no. Kermit, introduce the show! 